Hi guys, I'm hanging on to the pole here. It's really slippy this, like, be careful when you come here. This sort of green slime, it uh, spreads over. But if you get it on your shoes, it seems to stick to your shoes, so you can slip as well. And you'll go in the drink. Anyway, we're over in, where do you think? Well, you've seen the title already, so. I'm gonna show you Aura. Aura's changed. I'll tell you why it prompted me to come over here. Let me just tilt you down a little bit. Ooh. Ah. This is my island in the sun. Hey, over to you guys. Well, that came in quickly. See how dangerous it can be. Wow, let's get out of here. Oh. <laughs> that caught me. That caught me out. It can be really dangerous to see, guys. So be very careful. Because it looks pretty calm and then suddenly whoosh, that's not gonna hurt you. But imagine if you were out there, like in the deep a little bit, and it comes in that fast. Anyway, I'm gonna show you aura. I'm gonna show you around. I came over here uh, about three weeks ago, I think it was something like that. And uh, oh this is blocked off here, so we have to go have to go another way. Let's go around the back end here. Maybe we can go up the top through there. Let's have a look through there. We won't go through that uh, that place there. They're doing some work. This is our palace look. Oh it's changed. Over here, sorry. Suncrest. Suncrest is changing as well. I wonder if we can get through here. I thought we might be able to go up that ramp, but they're doing something on the front here, so I don't know what. Look how beautiful, guys. Can we get through here, guys? Anybody been this way? This is the way through. Will I die? Those are questions we ask ourselves. Very choppy. Let's see if I get through here. Anyway, the idea was <laughs> to show you Aura, not to walk along the seafront. This looks a bit slippy here. Let's be careful, guys. Wow, this is very slippy. I'm gonna walk a bit careful. Hey, we made it. I don't like this uh, green slime. Like the Ghostbusters. Batman, what happened? Are you okay? He slimed me. That's great! I've seen many people slip off there. Oh shit, can we go through here? Danger, keep out. <laughs> what you done, Steve? You cocked it up. Hey, we're gonna get splashed, I think. Can we get through here? I want to get up and nobody's letting me get up. Let's keep walking. Oh, <laughs> it's getting choppy. Hey, I don't think there's a way through here. Let's keep walking. <laughs> Hurry up because the splash comes. Is there another road here? Oh! <laughs> we made it. I've never been. Uh, I, I'm saying I've never been, but it's been a long time since I've been over here. It's uh, everywhere's locked up, you can see. Look, guys. This is Suncrest, I think. This is the Suncrest uh, beach place. Uh, I was going to try and get a breakfast. Many people told me about Steve, go over to the Bell over here, so I might do that as well. You can see a lot of places closed down. <laughs> we got through that anyway. <laughs> anyway, right at the top here on the main road, Aura.
jump in and see you. It's um, been a funny month. It's warm in the sun, but this really cold wind. Anyway, let's see how far we came around. There's the sun crest. I was going to show you the sun crest. It seemed like, uh, I don't know, was this, a, was this a four star or a five star, guys? I forgot. I remember in the 70s, behind the sun crest and the outer palace was just fields. We're on the main road now. Anything sightseeing bus guys. It's a good way of seeing Malta. Anyway, this is the uh, Sun Crest. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> I was panicking a bit. I thought I'm gonna be trapped down there because all this all this thing is being done up, that's why it's all blocked up. And they're not letting you come up. So here's our palace coming up here guys. Many people come and stay here. It's a nice, I think it's four star, eh? This was quite high class in the 70s, I remember. Doing a lot of work here. Let's work, we'll walk up one of the side streets. We we'll start with this one, eh? No idea where I'm going. So I'm just gonna have a nose around. Maybe if we find the bell. I know it's over this way somewhere. Uh, I'm going to show you what's going on here. This is not really just a tourist area. A lot of Maltese come here in the summertime. It's like a residence. Look at the work going on. Ritza here, look, Ritza Club. Someone told me they work here and I uh, was going to do a review on them. I don't know why they're so cagey, some people. I've got a couple of reviews coming up. It seems that we're quite popular at hotels reviews. But many, many of the hotels I've written to, emailed to, just not interested, never even answered. So the bell is over this way, I think. You can see the amount of work that's going on. Breakpoint complex, Ritzer Club. Even at the back of the uh, Aura Palace, there's a lot of work going on. Oh, you're turning camera? No. No, no, you're not on camera. You want to be on camera? These hard working men here, look. Hello. I was thinking you you not want to get me on camera. Oh, many foreigners here now, working here. So this is what's happening. I think this is behind the sun crest. And still these old uh, villas here from way back. Look at this. Uh, next to this. Going quite high there. All oh, these people who can live like this. Total disaster. Gonna live in this hell or one of these concrete things here. I think I'm gonna have to cut off a minute guys so I get past the man. if I can get past. Thank God guys, I'll come back to you. We're right around the back streets here guys. Look at the work going on. As I say, it's not just tourist flats. 
many, many, uh, there's a big hole here, so there's something else coming. Oh no, it's just an empty plot. God, if you had this, uh, if you had this plot, hey eh, guys, <laughs> worth millions. And here, this is Aura, just behind the sun crest. We're gonna walk that way as well because uh, there's a lot of work you can see. Should we, should we do that first? I can't go down that road because they've got one of those big concrete um, fetches or what do they call them? Like a concrete pump. And it was block blocking the road off. Many people come and stay here. I, I can't see, honestly. You wouldn't catch me dead over here. I just, uh, just not my place, but you're near the sea, you're near the Bujiba, you can walk. I used to have some neighbors. They had a lovely villa, four bedroom villa, three kids, two dogs. And let's just watch the traffic. And they were happy to pack up for three months of the year, three or four months in Bujiba, in a two, two room apartment. So, I said, well, you're giving up your villa here and you're going there. You can be in Bujiba in like 10 minutes. They said, oh no, because of the parking and the, the traffic. And in, in the summer, it's quite bad, the, the traffic. And he said, we just love it here. We love walking with the dogs and walking with the kids in the front. Oh, this is uh, the back of Aura Palace. Wow, just loads of building work. And that goes off to the seafront there. I think there's more coming on this side as well. Steve, what are you saw? You're showing us a building site. Oh, this was that con. I could have got past, I think. Oh no, he's got his leg over, that's why. He wouldn't let me go past. He was like giving me a funny look. And that's the back of our palace. Here it is much work going on and loads of space another one coming up here I think a big plot over there uh, off season so there's not many people around you can have a walk around easy but as I say many Maltese come and live here rents for like uh, two or three bedrooms 700 a month to over a thousand depends on what view you've got, if you've got on the front. I heard somebody was paying on the front there, 1,200 for a two bedroom apartment. Depends what you've got and all those things, I suppose. Depends if some of these old ones, they don't have a lift, so you have to be careful where you're coming. Ask about that, guys, because in Aura, there's some old apartments that don't have a lift. So we're coming round. I think the bell was up this time, so we're going to walk up this way. Here's a sort of uh, square just before Bujibba. Let's walk this way. I know many people have been asking me, Steve, come over to Aura, um, where we come on holiday. Love to come and see it. Look, imagine this though, these villas in the old days. Honestly, in the 70s, because I remember something in the 70s. I used to hire a, a car off the guy in the front and he was just, he had an apartment block and his uh, wife was really pissed off with him because she said, look what he's done here. He's bought a piece of land in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> imagine, imagine now, <laughs> right on the front he was. Nobody wanted to come over to Aura. Anyway, a lot of, lot of work going on here. Where's the bell, guys? Steve, you're going the wrong way. So more, more apartments. Many for sale. You can come on by here in two minutes from the sea. No idea how much they're asking. We see a... We see an estate agent. We'll stop and have a look. Got to be in the region of like uh, 300,000, I would imagine two to three bedrooms. What's this called then? Oh, Sonny's Bar. Anybody know that, guys? Sonny? Many workers here from different, uh, from different countries. A 
lots of construction here look. freeways car rental guys here wow what a difference all these were fields in the 70s that's the square again there seem quite big apartments this funny enough where you, normally where you see uh, buildings going on you see estate agents but there's oh there's one is there? no wow look at this on the side here guys lots of work Very quiet though, off season, off season, January and February. No, but apart from this bit of wind, you can have a really good time here. I think the flights are very cheap. Venus Holiday Complex, all shut, closed down. Now. This is not the time to come on holiday to Aura. <laughs> I'm going to have to put Google Maps because I think. I went off the truck, off the track. Oh, this must have been a, a bar in the old days. Lollies. Look at these beautiful apartments. Though. These are all the same block here, all along. And I'm telling you, this is the old type buildings here. It can go up to six floors, I think, now, in this area. Okay, let's walk on the front a little bit more. This is what you don't see, these last remaining houses. Some old flats here, look. I think they're soon to come down, these. These are quite nice, these are old villas. Depends, really, because I know somebody's had three generations they had a, a place in Bujiba and they don't want to get rid of it so even they're very offered some fantastic prices obviously to, if somebody can move in here and, and take the whole block make a lot of money building one of these flats <laughs> but they're being dwarfed there look what built next door to them progress guys many people want to come here though many tourists want to come here so what do you do? Steve is being overbuilt. But if you've got if you've got the people that want the places, I've heard that most of these places get filled up very quickly and they're asking big money for it. So where are we gonna build if we don't have the land? Well these are quite sweet. Eh? Love to see your comments about this area. Have you been here? Do you live here? Uh, have you been on holiday here? Did you find some good flats? What sort of prices are they? I heard about uh, two bedroom flats, 700, something like that, 700 a month. So I don't know short term, but a lot of uh, retired people come over to Malta for a month or so. There's the sea again, guys. Okay, we're gonna walk that way a little bit. Let's see what we come across. So there's the square guy going towards Bijipa. <laughs> More work. I think we came around this way. We're going around it. We're going around in circles. <laughs> anyway, I've showed you uh, down here on the left. I think it is uh, the bell. We're going to have a breakfast. Said it's over here on the left. Many places closed down, either closed or just the off-season. 
some people just live for the summer they li work you know many hours a day and they don't even bother opening in the winter time look at the work though that was the idea coming over here showing you what's going on showing you the different places wow look at that going down there You're not going to get any sun, I think, in this place. Is it down here, guys, the bell? Seems to be sending me this way. I looked it a bit on Google Maps. I had no idea. We seem to be going out a little bit here, though. Anybody been this way, guys? What we'll do, we nip over to the square, I think. Let's find the bell first so we know where we're talking about. We'll come back and do a breakfast here, I think. See how busy it gets. Oh, I think this is it here. Yeah. Hey, it's quite a way out. Big apartments all around them. So we're sure to do good. Problem is, a lot of work. A few bars as well, opposite him. There's that big square there, of Bujibba. So just behind there is tur tur touristy. Let's go and have a breakfast. Mm. Hello. Can I sit Can order here. Yeah. Ah, okay. Many people told me to come here for breakfast. Mm. Good. Yeah, I'll do a little video. Eh? Get for you, a breakfast, isn't it? A breakfast? Many people, um, I do YouTube, many people told me to come here to take the breakfast. Oh, no. Which is the best one? The belly buster? No, that's quite a big breakfast. No, just a normal breakfast then. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah, just try more. Um, tea, coffee? Yeah, uh, coffee please. Milk? No, just black with the sugar. Black with sugar? Yeah. yeah. No okay, I'm just over here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, bar service. I thought bar service. Bar service was like. Uh, should I have a Billy Busty, guys? <laughs> nice. Nice people. Seems quiet. It's a bit off at the moment. Eh? Should we have ordered the Billy Busty, guys? <laughs> it's, a, it's a quite a big breakfast. Wow, it's hot in here. So let's see what how long it takes. Let's try it out the breakfast. Many people say come to the bell. Lots of music here guys, so it's a big problem. One after another. So what I'll have to do is just show it you and then we'll have a talk outside. I said can I go outside but they've got music outside as well and you can't turn the music off.
the music stopped, guys. It was really good. Two sausages, tin tomatoes, two eggs, three bacon, and two toast. So we're gonna see how much it is. And a coffee, coffee or tea. But we're dodging the music at the moment, so really good, you can see. <coughs> oh, it's back again. <laughs> God. Really? Thank you. Oh, very good. Just the music is a hassle. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, thank you. It does the copyright, that's why. It does the. Uh, oh, I have to wear this. <laughs> At least I'll do it with a bit of music behind it. Not a because I've got a YouTube channel. Yeah, right. right. Englishman in Malta. Yeah, yeah. And they said come here because I do breakfasts all over. How much is it? Three seventy-five. It's very good. Eh? Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a nice so day. So this is the bell, guys. The bell. Come here. You do everything here. You do burgers yeah, and pies, lunches. and you do drinks as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Busy, no? When it's on, no, yeah, not now, but in the morning. But normally, yeah. But I can hear an accent like a Yorkshire. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm from Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks yeah. very much for the breakfast. Yeah. 375, guys. Come and try it. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll show them where to get, to get anyway. Yeah. Take care. Have a nice day. Oh, all right. <laughs> wow, happy there. So that's the bell, guys. So this is the bell. Can I have a nice breakfast? 375. <laughs> it's an incredible price. You can't beat that. Um, let's talk a little bit now about the breakfast. Because there was some music playing on there. Uh, the sausages wasn't that fantastic. They were like in between sort of uh, a breakfast sausage. Nice bacon though. The bacon, you got three slices. Tomatoes. <laughs> I'm not crazy about tin tomatoes, but some people love it love tin tomatoes i like fresh i always make fresh on the breakfast two eggs eggs were perfect perfect eggs but listen guys you know we went over to valletta to see that one five euros it's about on par with that it's a sort of breakfast you would cook at home i hope you enjoyed aura walking around and the bell it's just there on the corner i'll uh, put a link below to them sorry about the music but uh not only because they're gonna copyright it, they could take the video off as well. So that's the problem that YouTubers have. He said he put it down a bit, but they're so sensitive now, the, uh, the channels, YouTube, they can pick up the slightest beat of the music and more than four, four seconds or some of that. Anyway, I can show it to you, see how we eat it. And we, I ate it all, it was very, very nice. Very, very nice breakfast. Take care everybody, stay safe. Englishman in Malta. Hello.